So I've been talking with a handful of VAs over the last couple of days uh, discussing how they deal with rejection, considering it's a big part of uh, voice actors' lives, especially in freelance. Now, I don't often audition, and I've only done a handful of auditions this year, but I've done a ton of auditions uh, over the years of, that I've been doing this, uh, both big and small, and uh, I've been rejected. A lot. Initially, when I first started getting rejected, I considered this as just me not being good enough or me putting out a really shitty audition or just that I wasn't up to snuff like my other competitors were. And the whole idea of like submit it and forget it really wasn't resonating with me because at that time I would just audition, submit it, and then hyper focus and wait for that audition or rejection. Uh, that's a really bad thing to do, by the way. <laughs> like, like you guys are going to make yourself miserable doing that. And it would often put me in just this funk where I wouldn't audition for uh, hours or days or weeks at a time. There is no easy answer or cure when it comes to the subject of how do I get over a rejection. But let me give you a little analogy that might help ease your pain just a bit. It's something that has really helped me over the years uh, to deal with rejection. And I'm going to offer it to you right now relatively free of charge. Let's say you've got the munchies real bad and you're going to head down to your local wall. Walmart, uh, Dollar General, ICA, Tesco, Servo, Bottolo, whatever is closest to you, and you head down to the snack aisle, but you're not just looking for anything. In this scenario, you're looking for a tortilla chip, and not just any tortilla chip, no, 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 you want Doritos, and you're looking for a very, very specific type of Doritos, specifically the Tapatio brand flavor of Doritos that are just mm, perfect in every single way and for some reason they only make it in select parts of the United States and if anybody out there sees a Tapatio Dorito please send it my way I will pay you handsomely but you in this scenario you find them you find the perfect mm, chip the Tapatio Dorito and it's the perfect chip that is satisfying your cravings you loved all the chips that you considered when going down that aisle but these were the ones that you wanted and it just made your day that much better all right now here's another analogy. Let's say that you were auditioning for a casting call that's looking for someone of your general resume, and you do a damn near perfect audition, and you submit it and attempt to forget it, but lo and behold, you get that lovely rejection letter that we are all familiar with. Or you get, uh, you get nothing at all. But you find out who they cast, and you listen to how they perform, and they perform with the same emphasis and delivery that you did, but maybe their voice was just a little bit higher. Maybe they put a little more growl into some of their lines. Maybe on some of the parts, they went the extra mile and just went a little deeper or higher than how you auditioned. Perhaps they were looking for someone of a specific gender or a specific race. All of this boils down to one thing. Casting directors listen to so many amazing auditions every single day, but they're looking for something so specific, something that they often can't put into words, and in the end, you were great, but you weren't the bag of chips that they were craving, so to speak. They find the person that works best for their project. It's probably not you that's putting out a bad audition. You just weren't the exact voice that they were needing at that time. It does not mean that you aren't any good at what you do. Being rejected is not indicative of your talent as a voice actor. And more importantly, it doesn't mean that you won't be someone else's craving for another day. So keep auditioning. Keep being unique. Be somebody's craving. You go be somebody's name brand product. And most importantly, never be generic.